Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Toxic, and I want to show you a very cool sound effect that I just kind of stumbled upon making, and it's a really cool sound, and it kind of works for a lot of impacts and really kind of a thundery, echoey, whatever sound. So check it out. This is called the Thunder of Doom. So yeah, it's kind of fun to make, and you can use it really to accentuate anything kind of heavy, but maybe some more post-processing effects if you'd like to, and kind of really bring it to life. So with that being said, we're going to recreate this here on the right-hand side. So let's go to a new preset here. So we're just starting off with a very fun sine wave. So let's bring our master up here just a little bit. And our first oscillator is going to be fine at a sine wave. That's what we have over here. But we are going to drop the whole thing down by one octave. So we have something like this. One octave here, minus 12. And for our master envelope, we're going to have no sustain because we don't want to like hold down a note and have it sustain the whole time. And we're going to bring down our release a little bit and or our decay and then bring up our release. So they're pretty close to matching about ish as well. And then we can add our drive later as you see here, but I kind of want to show you this sculpting sound first. So this is going to be made with a good amount of FM to kind of really get the texture out. So anyway, the first oscillator we have is a sine wave and that's 100% in the mix as we see here. Our next oscillator is going to be this TX1. So let's select here and let's go to the TX1. Let's turn this on. But this one isn't going to be in the mix at all. We're just using this waveform to modulate the sine wave over here. So that being said, let's bring this up by 16. And what's kind of interesting about this is generally, you know, we move in octaves up 12, down 12, so on and so forth. But sometimes with an FM, you you can really get some interesting sounds if you if you kind of stray away from the standard octaves or fifths. You can get some cool little textures there. So with that being said here on uh, this TX1, so we're going to go to our matrix here. And as you see here on this first one here, we're going for two, and then we're going to go over to the left to one, which basically means we're using the second oscillator, and we're using that to modulate, frequency modulate the first one by 79%. So let's do the same thing here and kind of see how that sounds. So we're already kind of getting that almost dissonant metallic sound. And if we look at our spectrum here, it's kind of weird looking. Because we're almost used to having this type of, I guess, this structure, this harmonic structure that's really just multiples of the fundamental. And it's a nice saw wave or a nice square wave or something that's kind of harmonic. So here we're kind of breaking those rules and going a little bit in harmonic to get that dissonance, that nastiness out here. Okay, so moving on from here, our next oscillator is we're going to turn this on. And as you see here, we're using noise one. So let's scroll over here to noise one. Now we're using this operator oscillator, depending on how you want to call it. Technically operator since we're doing FM, but we're going to frequency modulate the third one to the second one, which is doing FM to the first one. So it's kind of an interesting process, right? Number two is FMing number one, but also three is FMing number two. So yeah. So we're gonna go here, as you see on the three, which is the third oscillator, and we're sending this to number two at 33. So take a listen to how this sounds. So there we already have something kind of nasty. So in this sense, we've already kind of built the dissonant kind of sound, the kind of just weird FME stuff. But now the difference, if we listen to this one here, we get that nice low end hit. So that's what we're going to be using this fourth oscillator for, which is just going to be a sine wave. So let's turn this on and let's drop this down one octave, something like that. And then if we look here, it's 95% in the mix for oscillator operator number four. So let's go here to our mix for number four and let's bring this up to 95%. So let's kind of listen to it as we fade this in here. And if we turn this on and off, we can really hear the difference of the low end here. And we can even see this, this kind of technically, I guess, I don't know how you would call it, sub harmonics. So if we turn this off here and kind of look down over here, there's really not much there. But if we turn this guy back on, we can see a little bit more support down on the low end. 
So now we need to dial in our filter a little bit here. So if you look here, we have a pretty quick attack. So I don't think we have to change that. Our sustain is going to be all the way down. Our release is up. And then our decay, if we look here, about 1.8. So let's bring this down. <laughs> about 1.8 and change this to a low pass and our cutoff is going to be kind of low something like this what do we have here 38 percent so drag it on just a little bit more like that now let's add a little bit of drive and we're going to be using a little bit of filter modulation for the cutoff down here And what this is basically doing is we're kind of using a little bit of envelope to just kind of open up the filter a little bit to kind of get a little bit of those upper harmonics and then it closes the filter pretty quick so we can kind of get that quick attack of that hit and then we kind of retain that low end. So we're kind of getting that nastiness. We can even get a little bit more drive, I think. Okay. So we're starting to sound a little bit dissonant here. So now we need to add some effects here. So we have two of these in Toxic. So we can add some chorus here. And I think I just left this alone for the most part. I think I just brought down the mix a little bit. No, I did change the rate here. That's what it was. So 86% on the rate. Let's bring our mix down a little bit. What do we have over here? About 22 and then 55 on the depth. Yeah, that was the same. So 22 on the mix here. And then really after that, these delays kind of really make it, give it a space, right? So let's turn our delay on and kind of dial this in here. So we're not going to be syncing this to any BPM because it's kind of its own thing, right? We can sync to a BPM if we want to. That's easy change with sync, but we don't necessarily have to. So our rate and our feedback, I believe, are the same here as well as the time. The depth, I think I brought down or I brought it up here a little bit, something like that. And then the blur kind of up because the blur is a really cool feature inside Toxic and then brought up the mix here. So we're a little bit higher on the envelope here. So we're pretty much all the way there. The last thing to really tie this in can either be one of two things. We can always EQ it here and get a little bit more of that low end by pushing the 62. nice there as well and then maybe a little bit of the 125 but be careful with this band here because it can really quickly turn into mud as we'll see here watch you get a lot of that nastiness so be careful with that band you might want to just leave that one alone or duck it a little bit but again it's one of those ones you have to be careful with if you take out too much you're going to really kind of break the sound but let me uh give you the i don't even know what i was going to say there but anyway let's keep moving on here we're almost there Last thing to tie in is going to be some nice reverb as we see here. And we're going to use none other than Valhalla Vintage Verb. So we are on this guy, which is here. So we're going to add a little bit of Vintage Verb and see how that sounds. It's almost like a mixture of a thunder and a hit or something like that. I can't really place exactly what it is, but I thought it was a pretty cool sound and maybe it can be useful for something that you're making as well. So yeah, that is what do we call it? The thunder of doom. I don't know. These names are pretty awful, but anyway, hopefully the sound sounds pretty cool. So if you'd like to get a copy of this preset, there's a link in the video description below. And as I always say with FL since I don't, like saving them inside the program as as itself i save them for, from this menu up here so when you go to load this in you can always load it from up here wherever you save your presets at i don't save them inside this menu here so with that being said thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video